While applying formulas, we often need to use cell references. Wouldn't it be great if the cell reference could give you an idea of what it is referring to? In this regard, the structured reference may come in handy. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day to day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hathiul Basher, and today I will demonstrate how to create a structured reference in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. Let's quickly refresh our idea about the structured reference. A structured reference is a syntax that uses a combination of table and column names as cell references. This is a built-in feature of Excel. After inserting a table, Excel will automatically display structured references in a cell if you are using a cell reference that is related to a table. This helps us understand formulas quickly and simply. Let's talk about the data set first. We have a reason why sales data of a company that operates in two reasons, reason A and B. You will find the data of reason A in the sales data reason A worksheet. On the other hand, the data of reason B is in the sales data reason B worksheet. The structure of the two worksheets are same. If I go back to the worksheet of the reason A, here you can see the product name where you will find the name of the products. Then you will find the month wise sales data of these products for the month January, February, March, April, May, and June. I will use structured reference to calculate the total sales. So, to apply the structured reference, first of all, I need to convert this data set to a table. For that reason, you can click on any cell of this data set. In my case, I will select the cell B4, then move to the Insert tab from the Tables section, click on Table, or press Ctrl plus T to create the table. This opens the Create Table window. You can see my entire data set is selected automatically and my table has headers option is checked. Now click on OK to create the table. As a result, the data set is converted into a table. You can further customize this table. For example, you can change the table style. To do so, go to the Table Design Contextual tab. From the Table Styles section, click on this drop down icon and here you will find available styles to apply on your table. You can choose any style according to your choice. In my case, from the Light section, I will choose the style None. As a result, the style is applied to this table. Then, you can set the name of the table to refer to it easily. For that reason, go to the Table Design Contextual tab. In the Properties section, you will find the Table Name field. The default name of this table is Table 1. However, as this table contains the sales data of Reason A, so I will set the table name as Sales A. So, the name of the table is set as Sales A. Now, you are ready to use Structured Reference to calculate the total sales. To calculate the product wise total sales, go to cell I5, type equal, I will use the sum function, so type sum. The sum function returns the summation of your selected range of sales. As the number one argument of the sum function, select the sales figures of the first product. As a result, you can see that instead of C5 to H5 cell reference, the cell reference is the table name followed by the table headers, that is sales A at the rate of January to June. And this is the structured reference. You can use this structured reference to calculate the total sum. Now close the parenthesis of the sum function and hit enter. This returns the product wise total sum for the month of January to June. One thing I should mention here that as I am using the Microsoft Excel 365 version, so the array formula is applied by pressing the enter key only. However, in the older versions of Excel, you might press Ctrl, Shift and Enter to use the error formula and to get the sales figures of all the products to be calculated at the same time. Now we are done calculating the product wise sales figures for reason A. Similarly, we can calculate the product wise sales figures for reason B. So go to the worksheet sales data reason B. Now, let me quickly repeat the process for reason B. As the cell B4 is selected, let me press Ctrl plus T to create the table and the create table window is open and the entire data set is selected. Also, my table has headers option is checked. Now click on OK to create the table. As a result, the table is created. Now to set the style of the table, go to the table design contextual tab from the table style section, click on this drop down icon and from the light segment, choose the option none. Now, I will set the name of the table. 
set the name as sales B as it contains the sales data of reason B. Now hit enter. So the table is named as sales B. Now I will calculate the product wise total sales. So go to cell I5, type equal sum as the number one argument of the sum function. Let me select the cells containing the sales data of the first product. And you can see the sale reference as sales B at the rate of January to June. Here, sales B is the name of the table, and January to June are the table headers. Now, close the parenthesis of the sum function and hit enter. As a result, the product wise sales figures are calculated for reason B. In this way, you can apply structured reference to perform different operations using the elements of a table. You can use the structured cell reference in any worksheet of your workbook. This means, apart from using the structured cell reference in the same worksheet where the table is located, you can also use the structured cell reference in a different worksheet of the workbook. For example, here I'll calculate the product wise total sales of reason A and B in the sales data reason A and B worksheet. Here you will find the name of the product and in column C I will calculate the total sales. In this case I will use the previously created tables and their structured cell reference to perform my calculation. So to calculate the total sales of the product television Go to cell C5, type equal, the total sales of television is the summation of the total sales in the reason A and reason B. So to select the total sales in reason A, go to the sales data reason A worksheet and select the sales figure of television that is cell I5 and if you look at the found lever you can see that instead of cell I5 you'll find the cell reference sales at the rate of total. This includes the total sales of television in reason A. Now to add the total sales of television in reason B press the plus sign and go to the sales data reason B worksheet then select the cell I5 and here in the found lever you can see sales B at the rate of total. This includes the total sales of television in reason B. Now hit enter to calculate the total sales in reason A and B. As a result, you will find the total sales of television in reason A and B. If you look at the formula bar, you will find the corresponding formula and this includes the structured cell reference. In this way, you can use structured cell reference in a different worksheet. Now to get the total sales for the rest of the data set, let me use the autofill feature. And in this way, you can calculate the total sales in reason A and B. I have demonstrated the step by step guide for using a structured reference in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blog, or you can share your Excel related issues in our Excel Demi forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.